Here we are at this time of year when I do a roundup of the very best of the year or the very best of 2022. So we're talking about cheek products, the very best drugstore cheek products of 2022. Stay tuned, we're gonna get into that video right now. Hey there, girlfriends. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I'm excited about this video. Let's talk about what I have on. This is the third video I've worn this in, so you probably have seen it before. This is a modeled kind of a heavier t-shirt that has adorable puff sleeves with the little buttons on them. Just so cute, little scoop neck, very cute, true to size, comes down about right at the bottom of the hip. I just really like it. It's very stretchy, very me, comes in a bunch of different colors. And I wore my little heart necklace that has my little rhinestone in it and then these rhinestone heart hoop earrings. All of that will be listed and linked below along with all the links to everything that I'll be talking about today and they will all be numbered one to however many we get through. Don't worry about the exact name of these products. Just worry about remembering that you liked the number and then go down and go shopping in the description box because next to it will be the color and will be the link and you can shop that way. It seems to be really easy for everybody. Let's get into it. Let's start out with blush. <coughs> Juvia's Place released these duo blushes and I have one of them. This is volume four and this is just a bright pink. It has a nice mirror in there, by the way. Not bad to travel with if you decide that you want to take this to travel with. It has two blushes in here. And what I loved about these were this was a hot pink and that bubblegum pink that is that Dior blush that everybody went mad for. It's in here as well. It's really close to it. If you got it on your cheeks with that one, nobody would be able to tell. This way you're getting two. These are pretty bright and yeah, I realize that they're not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but keep in mind that you can also shear them out. And for somebody that has a deeper skin, that fuchsia would be so pretty. I would absolutely love to see that. So pretty, easily blended and just a beautiful powder. I really love Juvia's Place powders. Their eyeshadows, their blushes, they just do a really good job of them. Also from Pixie Beauty, they came out with this quad. They probably came out with this quad year before and not this year, but I happened to get it this year. This is called the New Nuance Quartet Sugar Blossom. And I love that it has like your bronzer over here. You have a blush and you have two highlights. So pretty. This is gorgeous. This is a beautiful quad. The highlights in here are beautiful highlights. They just have a beautiful glow to them without being super high beam. And then you have the, these two over here that are the bronzer right here color. That actually is such a pretty color that it almost could be used as a bronzer contour duo. I just think it's so pretty. And then you have the blush. And you could actually mix the blush together. You could actually swirl your, your brush in all of these. Put it on your cheeks, be done very quickly. But I also like that it is a quad that you have that you can, you know, strategically place everything if you want to as well. Beautiful product, very buttery, very soft. They just are really a nice quality. And I love that Pixie put them into a plastic quad as well, instead of just something that was cardboard or anything. Also, I wanna give a shout out to LA Girl. Actually, this is Catrice and LA Girl. But first of all, what were these two companies thinking? I mean, these are, they're, they're huge. They're huge pans of highlight. I mean, we use so little highlight anyway, and they bring you these gargantuan, monstrous things of highlight. It's called um, Sunkissed Glow. That's what this color is called from LA Girl. And they are pretty. This one isn't as highlighting as the Sungasm from Catrice, the one I'm going to show you in a second, but it is a beautiful glow to your skin. And I think it's one that you would really like. The powder isn't really powdery. It's not one that's going to show up texture or anything. And then the one from Catrice is one that is very beaming. This one is your beam from uh, beam me up from outer space type deal. And that one is super glowy. So look at the difference in the two. So you get just a soft, soft candle glow over here and then you get your super high beam. Now you could take that high beam and you know, shear it out quite a lot if you wanted to, but really are both really nice. I don't know how in the world I will ever use either of these pans all up, but yeah, they're not very much money and they decided to just stick a whole ton of product in there. So I love both of those. I thought they were really good. Flower Beauty, Milani, 
and Makeup Revolution all decided that they were going to try and dupe the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Wands. And so Flower Beauty has their Spotlight Liquid Highlighter, and this one is in the color Opal. These are really pretty. They're liquid highlighters that just give you a really pretty glow to your cheeks. You can wear them under your blushes. You can wear them on top. You can use them, you know, uh, to spotlight your lips a little bit if you want to. You can actually also use this across your eyelids. You'd have to almost pat it out and let it dry a little bit. But they're really pretty. And the Flower Beauty one is a really silky formula. So I give that one a thumbs up for, you know, competing with Charlotte Tilbury. I have three of the Makeup Revolution ones, and I put these into a dupes video for the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Wands. And these are called the Bright Light. This one is called Beam Pink. So she does have that pink one that I'm sure that this one is trying to dupe. It might not be because this one's pretty light compared to that. So there is a pink one, and then you have the Dynamic Dark Pink. I'm sure that this one is the dupe for the pinkyasm that she has. These are beautiful. They're so much like Charlotte Tilbury that I truly couldn't tell the difference getting them on. And I wore them one time. They're a little bit harder to get apart. I wore them one time and really truly couldn't tell the difference on my cheeks. And this one is called Strobe Champagne. So they're so pretty and I love them. I love the formula of them. I would like them to not be so hard to get a open but it's good because they're not going to dry out i guess all right and then, and then sticking with the sticks <laughs> these are the cream sticks from nyx and they did the wonder sticks and they did them in the contour highlight duo and sometimes that comes out on me this one is the lightest one i believe i will look for you here really quickly and beautiful contour i really like that they did the contour really well oh it's the highlight that came out on me okay I'll remember that for next time. The highlight does come out. Now that is one thing I will say that I was not happy about with these wands is that they did come out. And I did say in my last video, you can take a match and just, you know, um, warm up the bottom of the stick, put it back down in there and press it a little bit and it'll stick back in there. But I feel like if you spend money for something you shouldn't really have to do that this one's the light medium one on the contour highlighter wand so that you know that and then this one is the blush one and this is so pretty as well i love the formula of these these are matte um, on the blushes and they just are very pretty very pigmented blushes i felt like so you have a pretty bright pink there and then you have a beautiful kind of a warmed up rose color there and this one is called light peach and baby pink okay the next couple of products. I know that they didn't come out this year, but I purchased them this year. So from Folklore Face products, you get a contour and highlighter duo like this, and you can get um, different colors of them. I have the really light one, which is Tortilla and Groovy, I believe. This is the lightest one, the lightest duo that they have, and I will say that this is just a little bit more stiff of a product than I've worked with on the other things that we're talking about, like the NYX one, but it stays on a little bit better too. And then this one is Mocha and Blonde right here. And the highlighter is just a really light, light pearl. So those are the colors right there. You can tell that this second one that was the Mocha is a little bit warmer than that first one, which was Tortilla. So kind of you have to just gauge off of what you like better. And then also from Folklore, I did discover this duo as well. And this is their Highlight Contour Duo. And this is the powder. And what I loved about this is, first of all, I did love the color of the contour in here. It's very that muddy color that I talk about all the time. Um, this is the lightest color, so you can build it up a little bit there. But what I did like about the highlighter on it, it's not got any glow in it, except for maybe just a teeny, teeny bit of glow. It's got just a really light cast to it. So you get that highlighting factor without there being any glow in it. So if you're somebody that does not like to highlight and put highlight on, you might love having a powder like this that you can go up, you know, up there in the arch of your eyebrow, that kind of thing, and still get the beautiful glow without having to have the metallic look or the shimmer or anything. This is a really pre pretty product as well, and I was glad that I got it. And then I found these stick blushes from Palladio, and I love these. These are so good. This one is called Sweetheart, and these are just an easy to work with on the go. If you wanna put these on your cheeks and on your lips, you have a color, you're out the door. This is kind of a pretty mid-tone pink, and this one is called 
called Precious. Now, Precious might have just a little bit of a shimmer in it um, compared to the other one, but I think that it's probably just that it's so much lighter that I'm seeing a little bit of a shimmer to it. So these are great. They're very pigmented. They remind me very much of all of the high-end stick products that are coming out. You're going to have these on once they set down onto your makeup. You're going to have them on. You can set them down with a little bit of powder to make them um, more budge proof, but really love these Palladio blushes. Catrice came out with their more than a glow highlighter. I'm probably missing the boat when I say that these came out this year, but it's so good that it doesn't matter if it came out last year. So this one is called Supreme Rose Beam and wow, no kidding. That is one of the nicest powder highlighters I've ever seen. Just so buttery and so beautiful and when i saw it on i was just really shocked by how pretty they are they're just oh man I, they have another color i think it's just a, a more of a gold color but this one is just so pretty and you can tell i mean i've used this like crazy it's been one of my favorites for the year and i can't say enough good about that one really love that also i did find this one from rimmel and again i think this probably came out before this is just called their highlighter and this one is in stardust this is, I stick my finger in here and it feels like I'm putting my finger into a, the most silky high-end powder ever. Um, it does have a little bit more gold in it than I like, but because of how pretty the powder is on, I cannot believe the quality of this highlighter. If I had this in a drawer next to a Dior highlighter, there's no way I could tell which was which because it is that pretty. I mean, it is, it's so soft, so silky, buttery, doesn't show texture, has just a beam in it, absolutely no glitter, no little sparkles in there. It is a beautiful, beautiful product, gorgeous. I just am really blown away with how pretty this one is. My very favorite thing that came out this year though were the e.l.f. Luminous Putty blushes. These blew me away. I am so in love with these. So let me get my hand cleaned here. They're all names of cities or countries. I'm not sure. I'm not very good at geography, so don't come at me. Uh, Belize is the coral one. So pretty. And I'm going to try and build them up just a little bit since my hand's wet anyway. So this is Belize. Really, really pretty coral. Just love these. They have a little bit of luminosity, but they're that beautiful cream blush formula. This one's called Maui, and I do know that that's an island. Maybe all these are islands. I don't know. Somebody get me in the comments. You're gonna, I know you're gonna get me in the comments. This is pretty too. It's a kind of a muted mauve rose color. So pretty. This is probably my favorite one. I really like Maui. And then we have St. Bart's. I think that's an island too. So maybe we're talking about islands here. Yeah, we're probably talking about islands. This is a pretty red berry color. Um, so, so pretty. This one is super saturated. I got that with my nail. This is not the way it comes out. So you guys know I got that with my nail. That one is really saturated. That's the darkest one that I have. I don't know if there are more dark ones, darker ones on their website. This one is Bermuda. So apparently we are talking about islands. <laughs> don't, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just showing you what I love. All right. And that one is kind of a pinky coral or a bright pinky peach color so pretty. I love the luminosity of these. I got the Maui one and then I went back and I got the other three because I was so impressed with how beautiful these are on your cheek. They are so, so pretty. And this is not the brush to do this with, so I'm going to have to really dig, but I do want to just pop this on my cheek a little bit and let you see. Oh my gosh, look. Look how pretty that is. Can you guys see? <gasps> oh, so pretty, pretty, pretty. I love these blushes. They're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. They are so pretty. That was it. 2022 drugstore cheek products. Hope that you liked them as much as I did. So much fun. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, because I want you here as a part of our girlfriend YouTube family. Yeah, we have all kinds of fun. Let me know in the description box what you bought this year from the drugstore or high end, I don't care which, that you put on your cheeks that you're loving because your suggestions are the best and I always find fantastic products. So thanks so much for being with me today. Love you very much. I will be back around very soon in my next video and I hope you will be too. Take care, you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.